That's definitely a jet of some sort. He looks like he's ignoring me. It's a mega of some sort. I'm quite confident I can roll out the way of this mega if he comes back. I need to get my Nords to land on his side. Okay, here we go. We're two, we're two Nords lighter than we were before. I thought this guy had more speed than he does. Okay, he's gone. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Leo 2A4. Now when I first started playing War Thunder two years ago, this thing was introduced. It was the be-all and end-all of MBTs. And since the introduction of things like the T80U and the M1A1 and the M1A2, this thing just kind of fell to the wayside. But at 10.0 now, now that all these bigger scarier vehicles have gone to 10.7, this thing in a full down tier is back to its original self. Its turret cheeks can stop most APFSDSs at this BR. You'll have to hide the hull of course, but if the enemy gets unlucky or you bait them into hitting the wrong shot in your tank, you're still very survivable. At 1500 horsepower you're still very mobile across the battlefield, and the profile of the turret while peaking defilades gives you a serious advantage over Russian tanks. A 4 to 12 times optic gives you all of the reason to sit in a camping position and snipe at people. And by use of thermals, spotting enemy targets is very, very easy. Now the thing that prompted me to make this video on this particular tank was yesterday's video on the M60 AMBT that also sits at 10.0. And when I think about this rationally, this tank at this battle rating doesn't really have very much weaknesses. And in battles, it really shows. Sure, its round doesn't have the same amount of penetration as the M23, but you still have to aim for weak spots regardless in the M60 MBT, and in this thing, we can take a hit or two. Now for this lineup, we're going to be taking out some backups, but we're also going to be taking out the very formidable G91 R3 at 8.7 with the four Nords. A lot of people ask me why I use jets etc for intros, and the reason for that is I don't want to just take out one tank, and leave my team high and dry to lose games when I could be taking out another vehicle to help out. And I'm sure there's a few viewers here that still enjoy this, and I don't want to spoil the tank gameplay, and that's the reason why. Anyway, enough talking, let's start walking. Okay, we're on Mini Sinai. I'm gonna switch my thermals on because there's a lot of dust, just kidding. Gaijin, I'm gonna switch them off for me, please. Okay, I think we should be good now. Got a chopper up already. I'm gonna try and give him an old heat from here. Ah, that might be a car. No, it's not. It's an AH1 of some description. Probably an Apache, actually. Need to keep an eye out where he's going. That's gonna cause us some problems, likely. I think I'm gonna go down and get aggressive on this corner. We've got someone on the A cap. Enemy. Keep an eye out for these HSTVL things kicking around now as well. We take them out in one shot. Otherwise we're just going to get beat to death by that crazy auto loader that thing has. Someone right here actually. Okay, that's one down. That's a scary machine too. Glad he's dead. Now this 285 is probably going to lock down this side. I'm just going to backpedal. Is that the chopper? Yes it is. Give me a range on this guy. I was anticipating him going higher up. Wait, he stopped. <laughs> he stopped climbing. Come on, anyone just took her buddy out? We did. Hmm, okay. That's definitely a concern for sure. 
I'm just gonna keep backing up here. Wonder if he gets set in fire. Got his gunner. I don't want him to go hide in this corner. I'm gonna have to push him aggressively. He's right here though. Terrible shot. This turret rings out though. Looking for me. Engine radiator and cannon breaches out now. Can't really see him properly, obviously. Okay. That whole thing was just a bad guessing game. Gonna load a track, he's not going anywhere. Might get pushed by another one. Okay. Three targets down now. Right, I'm smoking now. I wanna get out of here. Not a place I want to be. Oh, the neutral steering is so bad in this thing. Going down a hill. Oh, come on, dude. Why can't we steer? <laughs> I don't understand. When you're on an incline, a lot of these really powerful tanks don't like to don't like to steer at all. My smoke run out. You got plenty more though. Plenty more. The enemy have two caps. And although we are doing well, the rest of our team are doing well. No. We're in trouble, I think. Excuse me. Really bad hiccups. I had some birthday cake this afternoon. Something chilling behind this rock. Okay, we're getting on that cab now, which is awesome. Let's try and cut across here. I want to know what this chopper is going to do. Is he's quite close still? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be in trouble actually. Let's get a range on him. A jet coming in. Ooh, he's not having a good time now. Let's try and get some cap points too, so we can spawn a backup and an aircraft. Okay. I drove off this by accident. No, we still got it though. I don't want to take a shot on that chopper in case something peeks us. Another chopper coming in again. Three fives in trouble here. Oh, we just get shot in the back. And I had a terrible shot on this guy. We're about to die from behind, I think. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, let's get this fire out. This guy's right behind this rock too. Now we've got enough smoke. To keep us alive for a wee second or two. Let's pop another one at 10 seconds. It's an M1A1. Something else is right in front of me here too. The guy's still alive. Okay, we're moving. Got his breach out. Okay, perfect. Okay, we survived that rocket somehow. Oh, our turret ring is out. That's a Chadley. He can pin our turret ring, I'm pretty sure. I don't think anyone's going to save us here. Unfortunately, I can't drop artillery inside. Come on, where's my machine gun? Now oh, we can't even turn it. What is this Bradley doing? You can finish me off, dude. Come on. Almost. Oh, I got my barrel again. <laughs> Come on, fire another rocket. I dare you. Okay, we shot it down. Three, two, 
one. Okay, I got his driver and we got bombed and set in fire. We can move though. That Bradley should have had me dead. Okay, repair again. Then to our last fire extinguisher. Rubber banding quite a bit here. Cannon barrel, cannon breach. I'm happy enough with that shot. Oh, that's a that's a big boy too. Oh, we've got second ammo storage again. <laughs> oh, if our reload was good, we would have been okay. But I used all of the ammo inside my turret, and that got me that got me done. God damn, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's got a little fly logo too. All right, it's Nord time. Let's go. Now we won't get a missile warning from this uh, Petens. Am I thirty-five up? That is a very fast-looking boy right there too. We need to get rid of these Nords. I can probably outroll this guy. That's all I've got, really. Please note that's. Okay, one down. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't hit my button properly there and I couldn't control that. My teammates are on this, dude. Oh, I only got a hit in this, dude. I don't know what anyone is using for their... Nord Guidance, but I'm using Alt and my usual controls for my... Oh, we make a double kill here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm using Alt and then my usual flight controls for Elevator and Roll. So I think I'm kind of... I can let go of Alt and still maneuver if I need to dodge anything that's coming in. Uh, but obviously not. Oh my god, dude. Yikes. Yeah, okay. No missile warning there, obviously, now. Oh, Peyton's wrecked me. <laughs> I don't think the enemy is going to come back from this. I would hope so. Um, I've got no rudder control, nothing. There we go. All right. We got we got three kills and two assists, though. That's not too bad at all. I don't know if it's worthwhile bringing another tank right now, and I don't think it is. But nine kills between the tank and the G91 is pretty good going, I would say. The team has them kettled in here. Was that a P8? It's a B29. That is one absolute Chad player, dude. That's an expensive player. <laughs> oh, GG, dude. <laughs> okay, Ash River. This is a full down tier, I think, it looks like. We got RFPs and stuff here. Yeah, it looks like it. This looks like 10.0. I'm not a fan of this map at this battle rating just because of the thermals. It's almost impossible to be sneaky. It still is possible, it's just less likely. But I'm gonna do what Leos do best. I'm gonna sit with our thermals and we're gonna scope some people out here. I couldn't remember if this thing had commander's thermals or not, but I had a wee quick check and obviously we don't. Right, we got somebody up here already. Oh, that was a terrible shot there. Wonder if that guy's... No, it's a Vickers up there? If he has my breach, he'll obviously damage me. That wasn't a Vickers, that was French, I think. Yeah, it was. MX-40 maybe? It's a dude right up here. That's a very sneaky spot up there, sir. It's the Vickers now. Oh, that is a... Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> MX-30 Super is one of the scariest tanks that I'll ever face, dude. You got a lot of open space, but if you get through to the ammo rack in the back, then that obviously happens. Oh, a decent two kills so far. We got oh, this guy crit up here as well. Now, I know our artillery can probably do damage, but at this range, we're asking a lot. 
the dispersion. My thermals are switching on and off once more. The zoom on this thing is really nice. The problem is in a brawling scenario, it's kind of annoying to get like quick shots on. This guy might be dead. Yeah, he's dead. I, I always want to check those at that range, especially with thermals. You can't really tell if they're dead or not. It's, uh, a viewer pointed out they they get uh, Mickey Mouse ears if you if you pop them. Okay, that was a bit too short. It looked like it was on the ball, but it definitely wasn't. Friendly up here with me too. Just double checking up here. This guy's dead, I think. TATB? The TATB and the 24 are a really good fight. A really nice matchup. That's not friendly. That's something I'm going to try and deal with. I don't think we've got any SPA up. Oh no, I lied. I lied. Let's turn these thermals off real quick. A 262 up. Missed him. That Gepard's gonna eat that guy alive. Nope. No, he did not. I missed him. Oh my god, dude. Well, that's one way to take him down. <laughs> that is one way to take him down. Make sure he's gone. Okay, his thermals are glitching out right now. Okay, we're back in business. I'm gonna wait on this guy re-peeking. Oh, he's dead. AMX 40, like I said. We do need to put more pressure on the enemy. I don't think I'm gonna get an opportunity to get... Okay, something's on B. Oh, damn it, dude. I peeked at the wrong time. There, he's right there. Oh, I get no pen on his turret too. See if I can survive another hit. Nope, not at all. That's ah, a nice spot, man. That's unfortunate for me. Okay, I think it's G91 time. Let's try and pick some key targets off with these Nords. Enemy air. That's definitely a jet of some sort. He looks like he's ignoring me. Some mega of some sort. As long as I'm behind them, I can start firing nords off at enemies. We got a friendly on C, which is awesome. Don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Only got a hit on this guy. This dude is out. Wyvern. I'm quite confident I can roll out the way of this MIG if he comes back. Got that guy crit. Surprised I didn't kill him. I need to get my Nords to land on his side. Okay, here we go. We're two, we're two Nords lighter than we were before. I thought this guy had more speed than he does. Okay, he's gone. I've seen another plane coming in as well though, and we are slow. If you're in a G91, don't be scared of a MiG-17. Just make sure your wings are 
not parallel with their wings. And you should be okay. And he did a wee panic there and decided to just go into a full turn. Another jet up. And I'm not the best... The best pilot ever. <laughs> for sure. I'm not even a good pilot. Uh, it's just, it's pretty easy to do. You just need a little bit of confidence and you should be okay. It's really hard for me to spot targets on this map. There's a boy here. Saber. A little bit more scarier. I don't want to have to deal with it really. Until we get rid of these. Oh, dude, I'm really bad with these Nords right now. We haven't got a single kill with them. I get rid of this next Nord, we can go into a dogfight with this thing. He's just gonna keep turning though. Okay, another crit. Right, now we are much lighter. Where are you, chief? He's gonna do the classic straight line thing. Looks clean wing. In very hard tons though. Okay, he's dead. Where's this prop at? Hear him, there he is. And a chopper. There goes another one. And we should get down on top of this chopper and take him out. Yeah, he's not moving. He's not moving at all. Oh that that took a lot of hits. Something else fired at me, or was that a missile? No idea. 94 rounds. Now we didn't do very well with the Nords. We managed to clean up all their air right now, which is pretty awesome. One guy respawned, Mystic Fury. Where are you at, buddy? We only got 44 rounds left, though. Could be a chopper. There's a close. Oh, there he is. It is a chopper. 44 ammo. We're about to win the game though. Ticket bleed. Let's just imagine we killed this guy, okay? <laughs> so there we have it. The Leo 2A4. And the good news about the 2A4 is... It's got some wonderful backups still. You got the KPZ70, Leo 2K, Rad Kampfwagen. There's a whole host of things that you can bring out here. As well as Cass. G91 is there as well. We also got the MiG-19. There's a whole bunch of stuff that can just make this lineup super fun and super German efficient. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Much love. Bye bye.